Bible addresses both the true Church of Christ, which is the body of all believers, as well as the organized church. The organized church is comprised of true believers as well as unbelievers. This presentation addresses the failings of the organized church. In order for us to examine the failing of the organized church, we first must see what its commission is. Christ gave the commission to the church at the end of his ministry on earth at his first coming. And he said, as you go, make disciples of all peoples baptize and teach them to obey everything I command you. This commission is in order. First, we're to make disciples. Then we baptize them into the body and teach them. Here's an interpretation Christ gives his disciples about a parable. And he emphasizes, I think, in this parable, the Great Commission. He says, people receive and hear about the kingdom, but if they don't understand that the evil one takes away what was sown, the man who receives the message but has no root lasts only a short time. But the ones that receive it and understand produce a crop. I believe this understanding is part of what the Great Commission is talking about in teaching everything. The church must teach those that believe so they understand and produce root so they can produce a crop. Let's look again at Christ's commission to the church. He says, as you go, make disciples of all people. Baptize and teach them to obey everything I've commanded you. Looking at the parable we just examined, we saw that understanding makes a big difference in the outcome of the person that receives the message. Those that received and didn't understand fell away. Those that received and did understand produced a crop. As we see, teaching is very important that we understand. So the Great Commission tells us understanding is important. The parable also tells us that understanding is important. We see here, one received but didn't understand lasted only a short time. The other received, did understand, and produced a crop. Here's the essence of the church's failing. We seem to be told in scripture that there's a difference between preaching and teaching. Preaching is proclaiming the truth to the world and unbelievers, those that don't know the truth. But teaching is for those in the synagogues, in the church, for the building up of the church so that they have understanding and they develop root so they can produce a crop. As we see here in Matthew, Jesus went throughout the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching about the kingdom. It seems that he went throughout the towns and villages preaching, but teaching in their synagogues. So one of the things we must understand is the place for preaching and the place for teaching. We see we preach, we proclaim the truth to the world when we go out and make disciples. But when we bring them in, we teach them. Christ predominantly preached to the world and taught in the synagogues. The same pattern is emphasized in the New Testament preaching, proclaiming the truth to the world, and then teaching the believers. You don't teach the world, and you don't preach to the choir. Now after Christ's ministry, and after the Great Commission was issued, we see this in play in Acts chapter 2. It says, those that accepted his message were baptized, and they devoted themselves to the teaching, fellowship, and prayer. So first, there's an acceptance of the message, then you baptize them into the fellowship, and then you teach them so they develop understanding and develop root so they can produce a crop. So the church will be successful. Teaching is critical. Again, Christ's commission. Go, preach to the world. Those that receive, baptize them into the fellowship and then teach them everything so they have understanding and put down root and can produce a crop. Why am I talking about this? 
because so many people in the church today don't understand what they believe. They don't know what the Bible says. They don't understand about the elementary teachings that the Bible talks about. They don't understand about the day of the Lord. Failings of the organized church. The church does not understand what the elementary teachings about Christ are. The elementary truths of the Bible, the foundation, by the way, it's recorded in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1 and 2, the six things of the elementary teachings. The church doesn't understand about the day of the Lord. What is the day of the Lord? It's one of the most extensive teachings in the Old and New Testaments.